I'm Money with Mark, and in this video, I'm gonna go over my top three favorite high interest savings accounts in Canada and tell you which three are my least favorite and you should avoid at all costs. High interest or a high yield savings account is a bank account where you put in your money and the bank will pay you typically every single month based on how much money you have in the account and the interest rate that the bank provides. As a general theme in Canada and also in my content, you'll have the big banks on one hand that have the highest fees and the lowest amount of interest rates that they actually give you. And on the other end, you have awesome new fintech companies that are giving you 30,000% more interest than the big banks are. And my third favorite high interest savings account in Canada is Wealth Simple Cash. There is zero annual fees. They have zero foreign currency transaction fees. And at the time I'm recording this video, they are providing 4% interest on your money in Wealth Simple Cash. And that is not a promotional rate. That is the rate that you will get every single year. But if interest rates change, which they always do, most of these fintech companies will update their rates. My second favorite high return savings account is Coho. I love Coho because they have joint accounts for you and your partner and they also have free zero dollar monthly or annual fee accounts that you can use and earn a high percent interest. You can actually earn at the time of this video up to 4.5% interest on all of the money that you hold within Coho. And I really love Coho's feature that you can actually build multiple different types of savings accounts to save for a vacation coming up or for your first down payment on a home while also earning this 4% or 4.5% high interest. And my favorite high interest savings account in Canada right now is Neo Financial. Neo Financial has zero fees and they are currently giving 3.4% interest on all of the money that you hold in Neo Financial. But the main reason I like using Neo Financial is because they have partnered with so many businesses across Canada. And when you're actually spending money with their credit card, you are earning a lot of cash back. Typically people average around 5% cash back, but I've shopped at restaurants and stores that give me 8% cash back, 10% cash back just with using my Neo Financial credit card. And that's why Neo Financial is one of my favorite, not only to mention that their app is really easy to use, uh, different than a Wealthsimple or a Coho. I find Coho really easy to use too. Wealthsimple can be a little bit confusing, but I find Neo Financial is the easiest app to use. And now for my three least favorite. As a matter of fact, I hate these high interest savings accounts. Let me start with EQ Bank. EQ Bank actually has a pretty good return that they provide for their high interest savings. And right now it's sitting at 3% on all your money. What I don't like about EQ Bank is that they also try to turn your FHSA or your TFSA into high interest savings accounts. These should be investment accounts that you should be investing in the stock market not getting a high interest rate in terms of savings. So I feel like it's a little bit deceptive of EQ Bank to be doing this. My next least favorite is RBC. Now, if you go to RBC's high yield e-savings account, you will see that they have some insane promotional rate going on that's usually much higher interest than any other bank account that you can find in Canada. But that's just it. It's a promotional rate and usually you only get it for about three months and your first three months and then it drops down to something significantly lower. So right now, at the time of this video, they're promoting a 5.5% high interest savings account, but it only lasts for three months. After those three months, your interest rate drops down to 1.7%, which is half of what a Coho offers you or a Neo Financial. And then my absolute least favorite and probably the bank that gives me the most gripe in Canada is TD. TD has fees absolutely everywhere and they charge you for everything. And I can't even like start to explain what their fees are on and how many there are because there's just so many, it's so complicated and you never know until you just see the, the statements come out of your account and realize you're charged $5 here, $3 there, $1 here and it's charged for everything. It seems like TD wants your money but then if you wanna do anything with your money, they wanna charge you. And their high interest savings account at the time of this video only will pay you 0.05% interest. Can you believe how small that is? Let me put this into perspective. Neo Financial is not paying 10 times more. It's not paying 100 times more. Neo Financial is paying you almost 500 times more interest than what TD is offering. And I think that as a big bank 
and being someone who prides themselves on being for the Canadian people and being sticking around for so long, why don't you start giving back to the Canadian people? Why does it have to take these new fintech companies like Wealthsimple and Coho and Neo Financial in order to provide us with a true high interest savings account? I wish the big banks could do something like this, but they're not. So I would avoid these high interest savings accounts at all costs. But that's just earning interest on your savings. If you are wanting to better how much money you save, increase your income, maybe start a business one day, which is something I think all Canadians should do with this insane cost of living that we have nowadays, then please subscribe to Money With Mark and watch my next video here, and I will see you in the next episode. Peace out.